Hey guys, welcome to the Hollaby Homestead. Hey guys, so I'm a little bit behind in harvesting the garden, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, still having uh, some health problems, so that's kind of slowing me down a bit, but it's not stopping me, so this today's going to be a really big harvest. So I guess we'll start off with the cucumbers since they're going to be the heaviest in the basket. Look at how big this one is. So I think this actually uh, wins the prize for the uh, biggest cucumber that I've ever harvested out of my own garden. Uh, still pretty solid. Definitely left that a little too long. So some people like to cut these off, pull these off. I like to twist them off, um, especially if I don't have any scissors with me. Uh, I just find that the easiest. Okay, so I got seven giant cucumbers. On to the beans now. It's nice and shady under here. So as some of you uh, may know already or don't know, um, I recently, uh, Went to go see a doctor because of some concerning symptoms. And anyways, it's suspected that I have Lyme. Um, I was bit actually by a tick back in the spring. And um, I didn't notice it for a few days. And um, the reason I didn't go to the doctor, which if any of y'all get a tick bite, just suck it up and go with the doctor. Um, it was during COVID and our clinic uh, kind of became a COVID testing center during that time. And because of my lung issues, I really didn't want to uh, risk going into there. So I didn't have any symptoms anyway um, of Lyme for about a month. And then suddenly I started having uh, problems with my fingers uh, and my hands and just my joints in general. Um, I'd have trouble walking, uh, getting out of bed. Sometimes my knees would be really bad. So uh, I talked to my doctor. I'm on a treatment plan. Um, for those of you that have heard all the you know dramatic stories about Lyme disease uh, in my mind it's not a death sentence it's far from it um, it's really about um, just looking after yourself and being healthy like getting enough sleep drinking enough water all those things that we should be doing anyways um, those are the type of things you need to make sure you're doing when you do have Lyme 
because uh, it can make your symptoms uh, worse. So, um, like I said, it's not a death sentence. I am remaining positive. I'm hoping that this round of medication will kick it or put it in remission, whatever it's going to do. Uh, because that's another thing. Some people, um, they have antibiotics and they're cured. Uh, and other people, it lasts for a long time or for life. So, uh, you know, those are things you really don't know. And, uh, yes, I regret not going to the doctor uh, when I got the bite. Um, what happened was it bit me on my ankle. And I didn't actually see it until I was getting into... Uh, the shower and then uh, I noticed it and it was like a black speck and I thought it was dirt because we had been uh, it was when we were working on uh, putting the fence up in here so I went to flick it off my ankle and at that moment I realized it was a tick because it kind of when I flicked it off it uh, kind of split into multiple pieces um, and that was when I realized that what it was. So, lesson learned, I guess. Um, you know, it's just something I'm just going to have to look after myself and be cautious with. And, uh, you know, like, tick bites can really happen anywhere. Tall grass, cut grass even, um, in the woods. So, you know... It's, um, it's just kind of a, a fact of reality now, if you do live in the woods or if you are a homesteader, uh, that you got to check yourself. Um, and actually, this is kind of a new thing in Ontario because um, ticks weren't really an issue in Ontario for as long as I know. And when I was down east, the ticks were really bad down there. And uh, every time... We come in from outside, when I say down east, I mean rural Nova Scotia, we'd always have to check ourselves <clears throat> and uh, for ticks, because the ticks were really bad there. And, uh, you know, and that was such a big difference a few years ago, was that the ticks were bad out east, but there wasn't really any cases here. And then now I come to find out that this area that we're living in um, has quite a high rate of uh, Lyme disease and ticks carrying Lyme, so, uh, you know, you just, if you're a homesteader, no matter where you are, you got to be careful. Every time I think I got them all, I look in the spot that I just picked and I find some more. So the other not so fun thing about uh, Lyme is that <clears throat> I lose my balance a lot easier. It's kind of hard to uh, get into tight places sometimes. It's also apparently really difficult to hold tomatoes. <laughs> Look at all these tomatoes though. So while we're over here, I want to show you uh, how my corn's doing. You see that hair and stuff there? 
those are um, little cobs that are forming, which is really exciting. They've all got little mini cobs on them. Okay, so I got some more tomatoes over here to pick. Actually, most of my tomatoes are over here. Uh, we just have one cherry tomato plant over there. Mosquitoes are getting me. Didn't spray bug spray before I left the house. That's all right though. Okay, I'm gonna head back in the house with my basket of stuff. It's a pretty warm one out today. We'll start uh, processing some of the uh, harvest. Okay guys, so I got seven giant cucumbers. I don't have a scale handy, but I can barely lift this off the counter for how far back it is on the counter. I'd say there's probably 15 pounds there. These cucumbers are ridiculously huge though. See the size of that. And these are the tomatoes. There's different kinds in there. And look at all the beans. And that's not even all the ones I could have picked. <clears throat> I just picked a uh, what I could today, and I, there's probably just as many more still ready to be picked out of the garden. So I'm going to um, cut up these beans and freeze them. Uh, I'm probably going to slice these guys up and make um, pickles out of them. And these will probably go towards uh, Dave's lunches for work. By the way guys, I'm just reminding y'all that you need to uh, enter into our contest. We're doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. We're at 92 or 93 people right now, so uh, we're getting pretty close to our giveaway. So to enter, you need to uh, go back a few videos to um, our video called Special Announcement that tells you how to enter and, uh, and all the things you need to do. So don't forget to do that, guys. Anyways, guys, that's my short and sweet video. Uh, if you like what you're watching, do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to enter into our giveaway contest. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.